Hi, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Nora. And we're back with Carry Out Crafts. Um, today we're doing mandala uh, dish art. Yes. And this actually is a super cool, easy craft. Yes. Um, and it's more of a decorative. Craft. Yes. It, I, I don't imagine you're going to be, you know, um, eating your yeah. daily meals on it. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, it's a cool art piece, and and you can really have fun with coloring it. Yeah. So, um, what you're gonna, what all are we getting in our kits? In our kits, we're getting the two designs that we already picked out for you. Yep. You're getting a glass plate, mm -hmm. our sponge brush, and of course our favorite Mod Podge. Podge. Um, what you're going to need to supply yourself is either uh, markers or colored pencils. Or crayons. Or crayons. Um, and some scissors. Yes. Those are the things that you'll need to get this craft um, completed. And you really can have fun with it. And if you do decide that you don't want to do ours, you can print out another yeah. option. There were tons to choose from. We had a hard time narrowing it Yeah, down. you can do And there's lots of other things you can do. Right. You can use napkins. You can use um, yes. magazines. You can use any of that. But we're going to show you how to do this one. Yes. And um, so let's get started. Okay. Just go ahead. Okay. Okay. All right. So <laughs> move this out here for a minute. Okay. Me with my options. All right. <laughs> okay. So I am going to do markers and I have colored pencils. pencils. Okay. All right. So basically, you just use the colors that are going to work best for you. Okay, and so once you have it colored, those are beautiful, by the way. And so what what you did is you actually also ended up tracing yes. so it's a little bit to make it more di more dimensions. Yeah, and I think it looks more like tile. That yeah, way. it looks pretty. Yeah, um, I only did one. And so then the next step is you just cut out because um, you want to remove as much white space um, from the background of it. So I'm first going to do a loose cut. Okay. Just to get them apart from each other. Okay. Okay. So once you've cut out your mandala, um, Plates do have a little sticker on the back. You've already removed yours, but I have to remove my sticker as well. Um, and you might want to clean off the back with some Windex. Yes. Window. Yeah. Cleaner. Yeah, because it does get the fingerprint. Yeah. But. Um, but so then the next step is really easy. Uh, basically, you're going to put a thin layer of the Maj Paj all over the center circle. Yep, so then you just place it face down in the center where you want it to be. You can kind of press on it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. All right. And then once you do that, then you put Maj Podge over the back of it. Um, you might want to hold it while you're putting, you know, so it doesn't move. Yeah. It's kind of like once you, once you hold it for the initial paint of the Maj, it stays in place. Um, and the Maj Podge we'll be sending out is dishwasher safe, but I still recommend to only, <laughs> if you are going to wash this dish, hand wash it. Um, and this is not like a, I'm going to eat every day kind of dish, but you could put out like, you know, some cookies yeah, that's <laughs> or true. something like that. And we're not going to show, but what I would recommend is to wait until this dries and then put another layer of the Maj Podge over it. Again, just to seal it okay. a little bit more, um, but that's pretty much all you have to do is just wait for it to dry. 
Okay, and that's pretty much it. All you have to do is, like I said, wait for it to dry, and the Maj Podge will end up drying clear. And about um, how long do you think it takes for it to dry? That I don't know. Okay. <laughs> how long do you think it takes Maj Podge? I, know, to dry? I probably wait. Like I, I, a day. Yeah, I, I would. I would wait for a day um, in between Maj Podge levels. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again like that's pretty much it it's a pretty simple easy craft um and they, i think it's really pretty yeah i was gonna say they turned out really like pretty and you know what that would look great like even on a windowsill like in yeah. your kitchen because the almost looks like um a sun catcher yeah it does <laughs> thank you so much for joining us for Gary out crafts and we hope to see you next, next time. time bye